It seems today a lot of people are talking about a disagreement between the NRA and Donald Trump. In fact, I've gotten a couple emails asking me, what is my opinion on the disagreement? Who do I think is right? Well, the disagreement centers around whether people should be allowed to carry into bars. And the reality is there is no disagreement. It all stems from when Donald Trump said, and I'm paraphrasing here, just imagine if those people in the bar would have been as capable of defending themselves as that attacker was of attacking them. If they had been armed and capable of defending their lives, things would have turned out a lot differently. And then Chris Cox, who's one of the head lobbyists for the NRA, went on a news program and said, no, of course, we don't think people should be carrying and drinking in bars. But he wasn't really disagreeing with Donald Trump. He was allowing himself to be boxed in by a leading question by a biased reporter. The reporter paraphrased Donald Trump and then boxed Chris Cox into a corner saying, well, you don't think people should be out partying and drinking while carrying a gun, do you? And he said, no, of course we don't think people should be out partying and drinking while carrying a gun. And Chris Cox allowed the reporter to control the question to the point where he was never able to get outside that little box of, do you think people should be partying and drinking and carrying a gun? He wasn't really disagreeing with Trump's point. He was just agreeing with that leading point the reporter was making. What he should have done was take control of the conversation and say, no, we don't think people should be drinking and partying, but we believe certain responsible people can decide not to drink while they're carrying in a bar. So it really isn't a disagreement between the NRA and Donald Trump. It's just two different questions being answered. Donald Trump never said that he thought people should be drinking and partying and carrying. And the guy from the NRA, Chris Cox, never got to say that he thinks responsible people should be able to carry if they're not drinking. Now, I do have a little bit of problem with Chris Cox allowing himself to be boxed in. If you're a head lobbyist, I think you'd be better at interviews or better at talking to people than that. You'd be able to control the conversation a little better. But, you know, it happens. So I want to make this video today for two different reasons. One, like I said, to point out that there is no schism between Donald Trump and the NRA. I'm sure they both agree that responsible people that aren't going to drink should be allowed to carry into bars. And they both agree that people that are going to party and drink shouldn't carry a firearm. I do it all the time. I carry in the nightclubs and bars in Oregon where it's allowed legally because I don't drink. I'm the designated defender. And that brings me to my second point. I'm calling on the NRA to do something positive and do something proactive and go on offense instead of defense when it comes to this topic. I'm calling on them to start a designated defender program. Everyone agrees with designated drivers. No one says no one should ever be allowed to legally drive to a bar. They just say the person driving shouldn't drink. So let's use that same logic and apply it to carrying a gun while being in a bar. If you're going out with a bunch of friends, one person should decide to stay sober and be the designated defender.